I have a very interesting video for everybody out there to watch. This was sent to me a few days ago, and I watched it, and uh, it's not really um, shocking per se. It's just kind of yeah, par for the course if you understand the military-industrial complex and the Jesuits that control it. Um, but still very interesting video. Let's watch. I'm just not going to play the whole thing. just going to play part of it here. But uh, very interesting what this guy says, this military goon. Listen to what he says. Subject of uh, counterinsurgency, and particularly counterinsurgency in Iraq. Uh, we are pleased at Georgetown School of Foreign Service and our Center for Peace and Security Studies to be joining with the um, Naval Navy Center for Asymmetric Warfare to sponsor um, this morning's uh, sessions. So you have the Jesuits and the military working together. Oh, yeah. Uh, my name is Bob Gallucci. I'm the Dean of the School of Foreign Service. And we have as a first panel uh, on the, generally on the topic of uh, counterinsurgency, counterinsurgency. Three panelists, uh, their bios are in front of you, but I would be uh, shocked and depressed if you didn't know who they were without me introducing them. Uh, speaking second, uh, Colonel T.X. Hames, his bio is there as well, 30 years. I don't know why they say T.H. Hames. It's supposed to be T.X. Hames, but I don't know. But listen to what this goon says here. Years uh, in the Marine Corps, uh, as it says, serving at all levels in the operating forces. External actors have to be eliminated. These guys who are coming in are the most dangerous of all because they're true believers. And true believers, whether they're Muslim, they're Christian, or they're Marine, are dangerous people. Uh, okay, so true believers, whether they're Muslim, Christian, or Marine. He's from the Marines. So uh, yeah, you can't have those true believers there. Okay, here's why. Listen to what he says. Because there is no other way other than their way. And you've got to either, you've got to eliminate them. Uh, so you've got to eliminate them. And as you catch that true believers, Christians need to be eliminated. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. Um, so if you doubt that the Jesuits have plans to control the military, that there's no connection there. They're just, they're just priests, Catholic priests, preaching the love of Jesus or something. Uh, again, another proof, I've been exposing the Jesuit order for so many years now and people make fun of me for it and whatever else I wonder why they would do that but uh, another thing there true believers um, those of us that believe the King James Bible I guess we're you know we need to be eliminated according to the Jesuits well let me show you something here Goonie boy Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Um, you can only come after us if we do wrong. Right? And if you want to persecute us and whatever else, I mean, learn the lessons of history. Going after true believers only makes the believers stronger. Okay? Um, must not have taught him that at Oxford University where he went to school out there. Uh, absolutely insane. Um, to include Christians in with Muslims, please. So, just another real quick little video here, just showing another military Jesuit goon and saying that we need to be eliminated. True believers need to be eliminated. I don't fear these people, and you shouldn't fear them either. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.